So today I'm going to talk about mean, median, and mood, which I think are three very easy um, concepts to grasp. They're super, um, they're simple, they're also fun. There's lots of different activities that you can do to incorporate these three things. And there's lots of ways that they can be taught. So um, we're going to start with mood because I think that's the easiest. So the mode is the number that occurs the most in um, any set of data. So we're just going to write a random set of data. We'll stick between 1 and 15 just to start. Seven, three, six, four, one, one, eight. Okay, so obviously you can see the numbers. They're not in order, but I think the first step that you need to do for each of these three things is put all the numbers in order. So put them in order from least to greatest. Make sure you got all of them. You also want to count the number. Um, of numbers in your data set because you're going to use that when it comes to mean. So we have nine. Okay, so now that they're in order, to find the mode, it's literally the simple, it's very simple. You take the number that occurs the most often. Here you can clearly see that there's two ones, one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one of everything else. So the mode is going to be your ones because they occur the most. There's two of them. Let's say oh, we'll take a different set of numbers. Okay. Three, five, five, seven, eight, seven, ten, nine. You can put them in order again just so you can see. which numbers occur the most when they're next to each other. So obviously you only have one three. You have a pair of fives, a pair of sevens, one eight, one nine, one ten. So if you end up getting a pair, both occur most likely, or they're both most likely to occur the most, then your me, you have two modes. I'm sorry, modes. Both five and seven are your mode. You don't pick one. Unless there were another seven or another five, if they're even, you can have two modes. You can have three modes, four modes, however many numbers are in your set of data, and if they all have the same um, likeliness of occurring, then those are your modes. We're going to go over median next. This one is pretty simple too. The median is your middle set. It's, I'm sorry, your middle number. So, in your set of data, we'll do nine numbers again. Seven four six six eight four two ten. Okay, so the median, you definitely want to put these in order from least to greatest. The mode is just easier to see if they're in least to greatest, um, but the median, it, it's easier to find the middle if you have them in order. So. Two, four, four, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can also put little commas if you <laughs> you want to separate the numbers, but sometimes I can tell. So this one's super easy. All you have to do is slash out. I start um, in order to find the median. You can obviously you can easily count in, but I slash out from the beginning and the end. So I do one slash here, one slash here. So you get closer to the middle. One slash here, one slash here. One, 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 one. Since this is an odd amount of numbers, um, the set is nine. You're going to have one. You're going to have one median, and it is going to be six. That is the middle, and you can find that by slashing, counting, however you want to find it. But it, again, it is easier if you do it from least to greatest. 
Um, so if you have an even amount of numbers in your data set, so we'll do Um, we'll just do six. Put them in order again. One, three, four, five, five, seven. And once they're in order, you slash, 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 slash. And then you have two numbers left. They are not both your median. You find the middle of these numbers. So the middle of these two would be 4.5, because that is in between four and 5. So then your median is 4.5. Um, same thing, whether these numbers were 19 and 36, you have to find the median between 19 and 36. You have to find the middle number. Um, usually they're not that big of a gap, but if they are, you have to find the middle. There will never be two medians like there is a middle. All right. And the last concept is mean. This one is a little bit I wouldn't say hard, I would just say it takes a little bit um, more time to do. So this is your average, this is your average number of your data set. So, we'll do 1 to 10 again. Okay, and we have 9, so we have an odd again. Okay, so, um, it doesn't really matter if these are in order. Honestly, you can if you want. Um, but they might already be in order if you were finding the mean and mood of this same set of numbers. So, what you do for the mean is you add all of them up and you divide it by the number there is. So there is 9. So you're going to add them up. So, these aren't very big numbers. But if they did get bigger, you could use a calculator or something. Okay, so this equals forty seven. And, um, I always check twice. I always add them all up twice, just in case I miss one or I, because it's very easy to mess this one up. All right, so I check twice, and it definitely is 47. So then that is going to be divided by your 9, because there are 9 numbers in the data set. And that comes out to a decimal. That's 5.2. Um, so they're not always going to be even. Sometimes your mean will be... Uh, if they're a very small set of numbers, you may could be 20. You can only have four sets. It'll be five. Sometimes it's even. Most likely it's not. It's going to be a decimal, something like that. And you want to round to the nearest tenth also. So that's your average. You're just adding all, up, um, all of your numbers in the data set, and you are dividing it by the amount of numbers there is in the data set. So, there is an activity in the book where um, you take states, they're states, and let's say you had the state, Maryland, okay? So, what they do, oh, actually, sorry, you have to have multiple states. So we'll do a couple. We'll do Okay. So we'll just do six for now. Maryland, Nevada, oh my gosh, why did I spell it like that? Sorry. <laughs> Ohio, Delaware, Virginia, and Texas. So what they did then was they asked you to count up the numbers 
number of letters in each of these states. So, this one has eight, this one has six, four, eight, eight, oh, and five. So then this, they make our data set. So, four, five, six, eight, eight, eight. And then you can just put them in order from there. So, after you determine that this is your data set, you can go ahead and get rid of all these. And then that is how you created your data set. It can be something fun like that using states. They also did the activity where you could write um, the on the paper, on the strip of paper. You could write the numbers. And when you folded it, whatever the crease was on was the median. That's another like fun way to find the median instead of just counting the middle to figure out the median. Oh, what's between six and eight? Seven. But it's it's more fun because you can fold it and you can see. And that crease would be on the line between six and eight, so you would have to determine what was still between it, but it would be more fun because you had the states and stuff. So we can go through one more example of how to do mean median mode for this set. So for this set, oops, mode is the most occurring number. One four, one five, one six, three eights. The eights are your mode. So we determined that eight is our mode. Remember, we can always have more than one mode, but there isn't um, another occurring set. Our median is our middle number. So like we just said, slash, 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 and you're left with these two. In between that is seven. So your median is seven. And then your mode, you're going to add them all up by hand on my calculator and um, make sure you double check because you don't want that to be wrong. And that's 39, and that is divided by the number of um, data values in your set. So we only have six as of right now. And that is 6.5. So your mode is 6.5. And then you have already found these three things super quick and super easy, and that is just a super fun way to learn it. Um, just like the states, that's an activity. There's, other, there's lots of other activities you can do with mean, mean, and mode. And um, I hope this lesson helped to explain how to do mean, mean, and mode.